Welcome back to Dublin and Dragons, the uh, Castle of Liquid Shadows. I'm going. Yeah, that's what it's called, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 It's I mean, your name, Axel. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Axel, and I'm going to be your dungeon Easter for this session. I hope you're all enjoying your chocolate. Let's get started. When last we left our heroes, who are going to introduce themselves now for the benefit of the audience. Uh, my name is Amy, I play Lanius. I am Ali, I am playing Keiko. I'm Gehi, and I play Punchbeard, Akika. <laughs> my name is Orla, and I play Kala. My name is Cormac, and I play Basha, Kala's sister. My name is Chris, and I'm playing the probably hungover warlock, Ged. You're very... I Actually, can you roll me, just before we start with <laughs> when last we left our heroes, can you roll me a constitution saving throw? Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Oh man, you're just dead. <laughs> <laughs> you are out. I think yeah. you are gone. <laughs> Do you have a plus to your constitution? Plus four. Oh, plus four. Yeah. Plus four 13. constitution? Yeah. Okay, you're slightly less dead than you were before. <laughs> but yeah, you've got a bit of a thumping headache. Um, when last we left our heroes, they had settled in for the night in the stag's head, which is affiliated, twinned with the stag's arse. Uh, they had been shown to their rooms, and Lanius had just discovered the presence of a black felt hat with a silver feather in his. Morning has broken. You are arisen by the bells of the Temple of the Raven Queen across the river, jangling away. We're already awake, though. We can really just start bird songing like, along with it, just fucking... <laughs> Why is everything so loud? We're like, you know, doing our morning exercises and like praying in one room. There are birds singing in the other. There's bells. He's still here and staring at a hat loudly. Loudly staring at a hat. What's up, guys? What would you like to do? Well, I guess we gather back downstairs for breakfast. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, our plan was to go see the Braziers today, right? Mm. Yes. yes. Lanius marches down and he slams a hat on the table and says, is that magic? Uh, uh, mm. I can cast Detect Magic as a ritual spell if you'll wait 10 minutes. Yes. I do that. In the 10 minutes that it takes for Kala to cast the ritual of Detect Magic, you guys are served a hearty breakfast of scrambled eggs and I have to keep toasted moving. soldiers. Moving uh, plates. Does this cost any more money? money? It does not. It's inc it's included ritual. in the cost no. of your room. Can this you is a very nice uh, uh, place. Your mug is it's, it's in oh, my ritual okay. space. Sure, I just sure. yeah no and cool. then yeah um, <laughs> like uh, no no I can't um I actually I, I could pass the salt because I actually need to yeah there we go okay um, uh, you're making a bit of pr production out of this aren't you? You know what? You can just do this without all the all the I'm sigils. So you know, some of us don't just have like a holy symbol we can do this with. Um, please pass me the player's handbook because I need to check what school of magic is on this damn hat. <laughs> One of our seven players' handbooks. <laughs> I would hope there's seven. <laughs> we do need them. Do, 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 do. The hat is magic, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. Answer, yes. The spell in question that has taken hold mm -hmm. of the hat is an illusion spell. Oh. Um, oh. So I tell Lanius this and I say, okay, look, I read a lot. And if I had to make a guess, though I don't know for sure, it's an illusion spell on a hat. It's probably something that changes how you look when mm. you put it on, you know? I mean, maybe it's super useless and you put it on, it just changes how the hat looks. But I think probably if you put it on, you That's think... That's not super useful. It's not super useful What either, if you need though. a really specific hat? Okay. But I think probably if you put it on and you think about something, um, like how you want to look, it, that will probably happen. Okay, put I it on this... and then think about changing the look of the hat and just see what happens. He puts on the hat. Mm. Ooh, ooh, turn into Ged, turn into Ged! He tries to turn into Ged. <laughs> <laughs> I found this in my room last night, just on the bed. Maybe someone left it behind. Hmm. We could always ask the bartender if anybody no. asked about it. It's just a little suspicious. Random magical object in someone's room. It's yeah, not it's right. It's an accident. Someone might have just left it. You know? And I mean, it hasn't got anything weird like 
divination or anything explodey on it. I think... Does he, does he turn into Ged, by the way? No. Nothing he happens? just abruptly stops talking the second he puts the hat on his head. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach over and remove the hat. And he doesn't start talking again. He oh, very specific no. before, and I remember it. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh. oh. Okay, oh, so we... no, I may have uh, misjudged the situation, Lania. Sorry. Um, <laughs> normally, when you see illusion spells on hats, I mean, there is a thing that is really common uh, that, that this was very likely to be that it apparently isn't. So what's happened is you have been silenced. Um, so uh, mm, that's unclear. Um, hold on. Do Does anyone know how to remove? I did not take Dispel today, I don't think. I didn't uh, prep nice. Dispel. Picks up the hat and angrily stuffs it in his bag. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, if we bring you to... Is it a one-charge thing? You don't know. I mean, do you want to test it out? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that might be useful. Why do I feel like that's pointed at me? I don't know. Are you going through a paranoid phase? So, okay, I'm focusing, I'm focusing, I'm focusing. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, well, I... Um, okay, um, I got nothing. Um, um, we could go to the nearest temple and see if one of them could remove the curse or the silence. So might as well. We but are let's assuming it's a curse. Though. We are literally yeah. across the road from the temple of the Raven Queen, and uh, if uh, I go talk to them, that might help. I'll wait outside. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Unless you think I could sneak in. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> let's well, go. Let's go with no. I let's be safe. You are already banished. But I could also be banished. I don't want to be banished. <laughs> so, um, I exit the bar to go over to, or the in to go over to the Ring Queen Temple. Do, are people? Lani swallows. Lani is Yeah, I'm, I'm coming with yeah, you, but I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'm gonna, sulking. Um, it seems like we kind of like stick like with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. Yes. we'll stand outside with yes. uh, with Kala. <laughs> if you can try and hide behind your. Bird moths? Oh, I'll just like put a wing. Yeah. I am significantly <laughs> taller than my bird moths. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. That's why I thought it would be funny. Um, <laughs> I'll be going like this. Uh, so um, I ring the bell of the... Or, the the area around the Temple of the Raven Queen is very much alive with the hustle and bustle of clerics who are well into probably their third or fourth hour of being awake at this stage, mm -hmm. as you guys are intimately aware of. Yes. Yeah, um. Gone. The cleric that you would speak to specifically for this kind of thing is High Cleric Gardak. Is it? Gar yeah, it's Gardak Scornborn, who is a half orc. Scornborn sounds like, like Calder. <laughs> huge. He's like nine feet tall and he's got these like imposing black robes on him. And he's like standing there with his like his hands tucked into his sleeves and he's just watching everybody go about their daily business making sure that everything is being kept in ship shape and he looks down at is this the guy who told me to leave last time yes like... it is okay. it's fine. Uh, <laughs> greetings hi cleric um i am basha of the um temp uh from the temple just uh West. Oh, no. West. 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 Westmead Temple. Yeah. The Westmead Temple. From from the the Westmead Temple, and um, you know, in the, the pleasantly grim valley. Um, That's his actual name. It's his actual name. Uh, the um, yeah. uh, a uh, companion of mine has recently been struck by a magical ailment that has removed their ability to speak. Uh, I thought that. Maybe somebody uh, in your temple, given that it's a, it is a large and uh, learned institution, might be able to help uh, return their ability to speak as they are gesturing at me right now. Yes. Um, also, your temple is very nice. And uh... thank you, my dear. <laughs> Is removed. It is not our domain. It is literally not our domain. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you for reminding me of this. <laughs> if there is anything else that I can help with, um, do call. While we are here, we are a little concerned at the news we have heard of odd things going on in the castle uh, nearby. Uh, stories of people uh, entering <clears throat> and not uh, being able to leave or not exiting. Have you heard anything of this? Haven't heard anything about that. That is... Uh, thank you very much for uh, the information. Um, Kel's hiding behind her barge mom's being like, <coughs> he's definitely lying. <laughs> do you want to roll insight, dear? Yes, I do. <laughs> like, do, do, like, would, did From you say behind... That no, because okay. I'm hiding, but... Okay, okay. I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know shit. <laughs> this guy is speaking absolute truth. <laughs> well, I mean, rolling bad insight doesn't mean that I necessarily believe him. It just means I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, could I roll insight? Because it's something we're talking, or...? Do you believe that he's lying to you? Is that something that Basha would believe no. of a high cleric? No, it wouldn't be. You're right. Since, nope. But, like, since uh, you're, like, right there next to me, would I get any kind of vibe, do you think? From... Well, I'm probably kind of going, really? Okay, okay. Can I roll inside since if I hear her saying, like... I know. Well, she, she just rolled an inside of two, so I think she totally trusts him. So. Um, fair. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm going to say point. no. I, yeah. Yeah. It's that's more fine. like, or at least I'm yeah. not, I don't know if I believe him, but I'm certainly not confident enough to speak up about oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No reason. Can I, can I look around and see if I... Can find anything? Yeah, roll investigation. 11 plus 2, thir 13. You find some more floor money, <laughs> <laughs> two silver pieces. Probably the same two silver pieces. <laughs> you also find in a darker corner of the outer courtyard several mysterious bloodstains. Ooh. I'm just gonna write down floor money for starters. <laughs> Priorities. Um, if I'm no longer, uh, I'm no longer talking to the um, Thai cleric. I'm I come out and I'm looking around like, where's where's Ged gone? Is he going to like? Oh God! <laughs> the Ged panic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I, I run after like. You're okay. Not so loud. Okay. You're, You're okay? still too loud. I'm very hungover. You got over here. Oh, I've been looking around and take a look what I found. Why are you looking? What's that? It's blood. I mean, uh, I don't know that much about the Raven Queen, but I do think sick people are brought here. Yeah, and and dead people. And uh, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, it's it's blood. <laughs> is that a little? Is that a little? Weird. It's blood. It's supposed to be here. It's yeah. like everybody bleeds. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't know. The I mean, do, I mean, don't like make a big deal of it. The high cleric will be like ashamed. He's not cleaning up. Well Those are should. perfectly normal blood stains. I'm, I'm sorry, high cleric. Um, um, my friend, uh, acquaintance, distant acquaintance, uh, was merely um. Looking for floor money. I mean, <laughs> looking for... We will be going now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just for that, I'm not giving back the floor money. You were never going to give back the floor money. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> so, you have learned that because of an order put into place by the Jack of Spades, mm -hmm. clerics are not allowed to use dispelling magic on people. It's mm. strictly to do with the wizards. Um, this might be a specific question. What's the Jack of Spades? The Jack of Spades is yeah. on the Council of Jacks, and I'm pretty sure his name is John Everyman. Yeah. Ah. John Everyman <laughs> is the Jack of Spades, and he is a cheerful, round-faced dwarf wizard mm -hmm. who is in charge of all matters arcane coming in and out of Jackhaven. Oh. Um, for reference, I will tell you about the other Jacks on the Council of Jack now. Mm -hmm. There is the Jack of Hearts, mm -hmm. whose name is... Oh, her name is Amy. Oh. 
Um, she's a really pretty Aladrin woman who's like not stuck up the way most Aladrin tend to be stuck up. She's very like gregarious and willing to like she's often seen out and around with the people and she's in charge of internal and external communication and like foreign affairs and that kind of thing. There is the Jack of Diamonds who is named ooh, he's named Jameson Bondley. And he's this like well-to-do, like sharply dressed human man who always has his hair slicked back. And he is in charge of all financial affairs to do with the city. Mm -hmm. And then there is the Jack of Clubs, whose name is Regan Victus, General Regan Victus. And he is a grizzled white dragonborn in his mid to late 50s who is in charge of security affairs he mm. runs the guards he runs the army he runs all of the weapons and armor that come in and out of the city mm -hmm. and these are all like notable public figures that you would see about the place like they're essentially four different versions of what the t-shock should be mm -hmm. that's absolutely shade <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I'm very sorry that we were not able to, um, we were not able to get your, uh, voice back, uh, in the Temple of the Raven Queen, um, but we could go to the, uh, university, um. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. We, we stopped some earlier, of us so. could go to the university and some could go talk to the House of Fraser. No, 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 no okay, okay, um, you are the person who knows the local people, which is why it is very unfortunate you cannot speak. Um, so, yes. yeah, let's go. Do you know any sign language? <laughs> you know? Give him the finger. Good. <laughs> ah. uh, is the university on the way to where we need to be? You don't know. Uh, okay, can I look at the map and find it? <laughs> we, do we have a map? Okay, uh, I will ask. You know where the university is. Do yeah. you know where the Frasers live? Uh, no. I do. Any of us? No. We no. can. Okay. We can go to the university and ask That's, them there. Yeah. yeah. So, cool. off to the university. Um, I've yeah. also been looking through my spellbook, and while I don't have a way to find people, huh? I do have a way to find things. Oh, okay. Um, Your spellbook that you stashed in a bush outside the temple. Well, I got it back. No, that was when the other day before I met everybody. Oh, okay. You know, I got it back so, well, as soon as I came back out. Okay. So I've had it the whole time that we've yeah. been here. Okay, grand. Um, you guys head up the King's Road from mm -hmm. the Temple of the Raven Queen. It's about, I want to say, an hour's walk. I know Dame mm -hmm. Street isn't that long, but, but it's, <laughs> sometimes it feels, it's, like, sometimes it. It feels yeah. like it, especially when you're waiting on a bus outside Central Bank. <laughs> Um, and the University of Infinity's gates are still closed. Oh. How are the tourists supposed to get in? They, yeah, they never keep the tourists out. Mm. Um, <laughs> still very Carla, close. how would you know what they do with the tourists? No, that was Orla talking about Trinity. <laughs> I know, I was making <laughs> sure. Lanius is knocking on the door. Oh. He was a part of the tour yeah. that we took. Is the door locked? The door is locked, and when... Lanius knocks on it. It takes about 30 seconds for someone to come down and kind of like open the little slot and security thing and goes, University's closed. We it's full moon. Uh, oh, so if we had an emergency situation about someone dispelling a curse? It's going to cost you. How much is it going to cost 50 us? gold. Wow. Uh, is there any other way that we could, that something that isn't monetary? Not in this city, not on this day. Like, like, out of character, would we kind of know the significance of this day, or...? The full moon. Mm. It's when the Where ley was. lines... The, it's werewolves <laughs> and it's when the magical ley lines are at their most potent. Mm. Mm. I mean, Lanius, do you think you could direct us around the city silently until tomorrow? One, one day. day? Yeah, yeah one day. it'll be cheaper tomorrow. Will it be cheaper tomorrow? It'll be free tomorrow. Oh. We'll let the apprentices at him. <laughs> okay. It's okay, you've got a really big axe, you can threaten the apprentices and they'll be fine. Oh, we could just say ask it jokingly. Them. Yeah, jo uh, jokingly. Uh, uh. I could, I could yeah. use my fey presence and see if I could try charm them into helping. I feel like that'll backfire. 
I mean, I want to see it happen. <laughs> I wasn't even allowed Misty step into a garden. He's allowed Faye presence people. Yeah, but anything he does, he brings one himself, so. <laughs> okay, you know. okay. You know, um, we're not going to do anything Oh, weird. Uh, but before you, but, so is the door, the hatch and the door still open? Yes, it is. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know where the House of Fraser is, would you? House of Fraser. Yeah. Like, Siobhan Fraser and her no, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Up by, do you know where the Steel Spire is? Oh, yeah. So the, the really distance. tall one. The yeah. really tall building. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you go up that way and then take a left down the King's Road, you'll come right to the House of Fraser. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess let's do that. Okay. So off we go to House of Fraser. Would you like to walk, or would you like to take advantage of the Lewis wagon? Let's take advantage. Has he forgotten about me? <laughs> it's he a different it. driver. There's like also sixteen. There's like sixteen drivers, and they're all named Lewis. <laughs> and they're all Kenku, so they make the ding ding noise, and that's the only noise <laughs> oh, that they can make. I love it. Oh. That's why they all have the same name because they can only say one name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lewis, yeah. Lewis, 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 ding ding. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's grab a, let's let's grab, grab a Lewis. <laughs> grab a Lewis. Yeah. You grab a Lewis and you get there in a third of the time. Hey. Hey. Um, they take you down past, mm. across the river, so you're back on the north side, down the King's Road and up towards this really big, imposing building that has these massive steel columns surrounding it. Like, just the doorway is just barricaded by these big steel columns and they're big enough that you can walk through them you know the columns in the GPO yeah. you can just walk through yeah. those there's yeah. like they're, they're a lot of yeah, space between yeah. them wide, yeah. um, and then right in the middle of it like sticking out of the roof there is this impossibly tall steel spire that goes up and up and up into the sky and if there's any point this one yeah mm -hmm. I mean this one has a point and it's a very sharp point <laughs> to the point that <laughs> pigeons can't land on it Eww. Alania starts silently telling them the whole history of this building and how important mm -hmm. it is and just why it's so important and what the purpose of it is. And we are all just like, la 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 la. <laughs> I'm like acknowledging I, you I, every I, once in a while, like, yeah. Uh, Basha starts to be very polite and act like she's following along. Um, and she's just... wearing a colourful umbrella while you give it to <laughs> 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 Monkey on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> the Lewis Wagons because there's multiple, multiple because mm -hmm. there's six of you so you'd be in three different three separate rickshaws drawn yeah. by these strong kenku lads and they take all you called lewis all called lewis that's the only like, they can only say lewis and they can say ding ding that's the only mm -hmm. two things they've ever been that taught yeah. they get paid well though mm. Mm. Good. and just as you reach the front of it the lewis wagons take a hard left and take you Right wait, down, wait, we need to go. <laughs> yeah. and they take you right darker. down into the depths of the Jack Haven shopping district. There's traffic. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of birds shouting Lewis and ding ding <laughs> at each other. Oh, this is not helping my hangover. And while you're stuck in traffic, this like really. What assuming human guy with dark hair and this really wide brimmed hat and this like nice poncho that's sort of covering himself up except for where he's holding out this tray of ice lollies Ooh. pulls up beside you and says, anybody for a blood orange ice lolly? They're only a copper piece and it's looking to be a hot day. It's maybe like 10 degrees. It's not like this, this is hot for. I'm Jack like trying to wave from, from our Lewis. <laughs> an ice lolly for you, young lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Copper yeah. piece. Yeah. Anybody else for an ice lolly? You want an ice lolly? No, no. It, 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 it's, yeah, between, okay. it's between morning and evening meals. <laughs> That'll be three copper pieces, please, my loves. Thank you very much, and I will be out of here. And he just goes off. It's like, yeah, I got three copper pieces. <laughs> okay, one of these are also cursed, though. <laughs> uh, um, I was also thinking that. If I do it as a ritual spell, they might melt. We don't have a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you paid a copper piece for an ice lolly. It's just like, oh, it's probably cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choosing to believe it's not cursed, and I eat mine. Okay. Get doesn't care, he eats. 
Oh, roll constitution. God damn yeah. it. <laughs> Oh. Okay, Don't forget okay. your plus four, Chris. Uh, five. <laughs> oh. Wow. 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 Wait, you were going to one then. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I rolled an eight. Okay. Uh, 17. Okay. Yeah. You all feel fine. <laughs> 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 but, but as you, like, snake down further through the traffic and you see this guy trying to hawk his ice lollies to other people. You he- you overhear a lot of muttering about, can't believe Jeffrey not a vampire is out selling his ice lollies again. <laughs> I thought they put him away. <laughs> the amount of people that got sick the last time he was out selling them. Hope no one got suckered into buying those. Blood orange, right, right, yeah. right, 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 yeah. right. Cool, 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 yeah. cool, 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 cool. Not the first time, but there we go. Mm. Not the first time. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's believable, actually. It's not the worst thing I've yeah. ever drank. <laughs> um, this is going in at Busker Bruce. What's up? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm like. That was a joke. No. Uh, uh, detect poison and disease. No, that's fair. Um, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I cast okay. detect poison and disease on Kala. There's no poison. There's no disease. Okay. Oh. It's I just gross. Waste, waste of a spell slot, but yeah. There's no disease. <laughs> yeah, it's gross, you know, but you're fine. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Lewis wagons pull you up outside this big tall fancy looking black building that has lots of fancy window displays in it that have like all these elaborate like clockwork um mannequins moving around like showing off their bracelets and their necklaces and their hats that look suspiciously like lanius's new hat and there are these like wide sweeping doors that are working on clockwork hinges just going wafting out the smell like the sickly stench of perfume from the rows and rows of oh tables no, we found a mm. fantasy abercrombie fitch <laughs> you found fantasy arnets as well yeah, I, 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 I would have thought that yeah, yeah. on um it was, the, it was the cologne from the air conditioner oh yeah yeah. Sure. yeah the lewis wagons all of the lewises just sort of cup their hands at you and go ding 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 through the beak. <laughs> oh. um, Transaction approved. <laughs> That's the third thing. Uh, so I ding, ding. put a copper piece in. Uh, and your Lewis wagon driver walks away. Okay. I put a copper piece in the other one. I put a copper piece in mine. You don't have two copper pieces to rub together. <laughs> you have floor money. Yeah, floor money. Okay, okay you put a floor money in, which, is a, floor sil- money. which is a silver piece. Oh, man. <laughs> I got, I got screwed. Really? Just yeah, like, I'm like the third, the third kank who kind of wanders off like, oh no. Ding, 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 ding. I thought ding, he'd give ding. me change. <laughs> <laughs> but you really misjudged that situation. You need exact change. I didn't go. know. <laughs> um, it's all right. I'm sure you'll find more floor money. The Just keep an eye out building has an elaborate painted sign on the front of it that like goes vertically down and it just says jacks on it but when you walk into the building if you so choose to walk into the building Mm -hmm. there is a floor plan attached to like the main pillar that is supporting the place and it says on the third floor you will find the house of fraser that's going to the building yeah i guess that's what we're doing hold on wait i'm in the doorway i take i take out a handkerchief and I take out my water skin and I kind of wet it and I'm like, Ged, come here. I kind of scrub them up a little bit. <laughs> but I had a bath yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't you even know how you. I don't even know how you did this. <laughs> it's a sort There's of. There's just a... like random blood stains on him from <laughs> yeah. the temple. Yeah. It's like, yeah. how yeah. did you even get that on you? Well, 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 maybe that was the critical one with the ice lolly. Just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just drooling blood orange down his Yeah, mouth. so oh, just sort of, and kind of brush, yeah. brush the hair around a little going, yeah, I just think that, you know, we may need, depending if this is like a, if we, uh, some of us aren't so good at the talking, and I think, you know, if you, um, if we need someone to, to, to look respectable, I need you to 
just draw on something other than yourself. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mention talking so much right now. It's a sensitive subject oh. for some of us. Sorry, Lenny. <laughs> I run my fingers through my hair and try to make myself look presentable. You guys hey. take the magic elevator up to the third floor. I'm taking a leaf out of Griffin McElroy's book and just saying, elevators exist. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> fantasy elevators exist. Considering we have clockwork doors that are going clockwork like this. I'd say we have clockwork elevators. Yeah. yeah. Um, and up on the third floor, there's just like this little enclosed room that has like skylights above it. And mm -hmm. there's three doors that lead off. And one door has Fraser on it. One door has Le Fay on it, and one door has Everyman. I think his name is Everyman. Yeah. One door has Everyman on it. Everyman is through that door. Everyman <laughs> lives in this house. Every single man. <laughs> um, well, I guess we want the door labeled Fraser. Yeah. So we do is that. This, so is this like um, a shop? Everyman was like... the uh, Jack of Spades, wasn't he? He was, yes. Yeah. Ooh. John Everyman. Mm. Yeah, we do want to check that out at some point as well because yeah. why would he stop clerics from moving curses? Because he's a wizard and he wants the business for his business. Oh, okay, so oh. that's le <laughs> less mysterious than I thought. It's yeah. like there's literally nothing mysterious beyond about that. Yeah. Oh. He's a greedy bastard. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Never mind, no investigation there necessary. Let's go to he's the Frasier one. He's a jack even landlord, of course he's a <laughs> Anyway. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we go to yeah. Frasier. Knock, yeah. knock, knock, knock. Okay. Who's knocking? Who's got? Who wants to do the talk? I guess I'm knocking. <laughs> well, you can't. <laughs> so. Sorry, Lanius. Yeah. Um. I knock. And after about say twenty seconds of waiting, you hear from behind the door. I'm not expecting anyone. Are you expecting anyone? Why would someone be knocking at the door? And then the door opens, and this like pasty faced. Kind of sort of looks like a teenager, but you can tell that she's older than that from like the dark circles under her eyes and the like just the haggard look that she has on her face. It's just like I've seen at least 10 years worth of college parties and I never want to see them again. <laughs> and she goes, Who are you? We're looking for Siobhan. I'm Siobhan and I don't even have any makeup on. What do you want? Oh, it's, um. Who are you? Who sent you? Well, technically, sort of Chelsea Dovetail. What does that bitch want? That's a great question. Her brother's missing. Oh. Yeah, and, and, um. Yeah, we heard about that. And, and, um, you were, uh, at, at the party where he was last seen. The Crescent Moon Gala. Yeah. I... The one that kind of went tits up at the end. Well, that's the tits up bit is the bit we wanted to talk to you about, actually. Um. Do you want to come in? Just that, have a cup of tea. That would be amazing. How Thank many you. of them? Uh, is that Lanius? Is that Lanius Ludovic? How are you? How's your dad doing? Oh, what the, Lanius wrong? has been cursed. <gasps> really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Uh, you know Mom, we, we sort it out. I'll get my dad to take a look at you. Uh, he was cursed by this hat. This hat. Mm. Oh, where'd you get that? Well, we found room. it in a tavern. They're selling those downstairs. They're awful. They're for the tourists. They just like, they sell them like, oh yeah, it's like, Vintage Jack Haven, everybody's wearing them. It's just to get them to shut up. Do you know? Because <laughs> they're so loud. They're all going around the streets. They're so loud, and everybody is sick of it. So we were just like, wouldn't it be gas if we put this curse on this hat and gave it out to all the tourists? That is <laughs> extremely unethical. We're pricks. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we own half the city. Oh, I mean, at least she's honest. Yeah, come, yeah, come on in, I'll put the kettle yeah, on. Okay. Right, we've wow. got Earl Grey, we've got we peppermint, and we've got lemon and honey. What do you fancy? Oh, lemon, lemon, honey honey lemon and honey yeah. for the Lanius girls. seems like he could use lemon and honey. I'll get you lemon and honey, I'll get you a lozenge, and I'll get you me down in a minute. <laughs> um, any chance you could jack haven up this tea? What's your poison? <coughs> <coughs> water then, yeah? Yeah, well, anything, anything alcoholic is fine. Okay, so <coughs> alcoholic water then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Guinness clear. Well, Guinness clear, do you, yeah? Yeah, go on. What about you, lady? Oh, she's cute. Look at her. Look at her. I love your dye. I love your do. It's lovely. Ooh. Yeah. We got to get our roots done, apparently. <laughs> yeah, they're showing a little... Like, I wasn't going to say anything about it, but they're showing just a little bit, and you wouldn't want it... Like, if you go a little bit further north than here, you might run into a bit of trouble over that. Not naming names. Uh. Do the face. <laughs> uh... 
Uh, Earl Grey is. Earl Grey thank would be you lovely. Thank you very much. All right, and she I like kind of like. It was. I don't know. She Do like falls off to the I side, the and she's like, Martin, Martin, will you put on some tea for the lads here, please? <laughs> and the butler, the butler kind of like shuffles into view and he's like, he looks like the most tired person in the entire universe. And he's like, yes, lady, I'll put on a tea now. So she just, she like brings you in past the like, the nice well-to-do hallway into this sort of like receiving room that has a lot of really comfy couches and chairs set up. Mm-hmm. And she's like, right, sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Don't get your geek on the seats. What's the story? Well, that's actually kind of what we came to you to find do out. Do you want to know what happened at the Crescent Moon? We really do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jodie's whole, th- whole thing was that she just doesn't know anything. Yeah. And she wants us to find out. Like, so, like, anything you can give us really... We left early because it was just like... There were a lot of guards there and we were just like, this is a bit weird. There's not normally this many guards at a Crescent Moon Gala. Like, we don't need this much security. And your man, that prick Victus was there as well. And we were like, none of the Jacks ever show up at these affairs. Like, Which Jack is Victus? Uh, uh, Jack of Clubs. Clubs. He was there. And that's probably like why all the guards were there, but whatever. But they were getting real handsy with people. They were kind of like really? doing pat down searches. Like they expect us to bring in weapons or something. Right, so then someone at one of the tables, like two tables, it was at Tristan Dovedale's table. And you know yourself, you know, he's, oh, he's ninging he is. But uh, someone at his table got sick. Mm-hmm. And they were like, how do you spell ninging? M-I-N-G-I-N. And depending on where you're from in the city, it's either a G or an apostrophe. I think I'll go apostrophe, thanks. Good choice. <laughs> yeah, someone over his table got sick. And like, everyone was just like, oh yeah, just let them leave. Do you know, they can leave. It's grand. And the guards were like, no, they have to stay there. Nobody's leaving this place. So we were just like, we went to, uh, we went to, to Morinth. We were like, here, Morinth, we don't want to be here anymore. Can you just like, let us leave? And she was like, yeah, no, this is well sketchy. Who's, who's Morinth? Princess Morin. Princess the Marin. princess. Yeah, yeah. that's the Lovely one. girl, love her. Uh, so I, I hear that. Hear but we, like, we were sitting at her table with her because she, me and her go way back. Like we were in primary school together. And uh, we were like, here, Marin, can we leave? We know you have that, like, that way to get in and out of the castle that the guards don't know about. <coughs> so, right. We were like, yeah, let's get out of here. So me and my brother and my dad, we were just like, let's go. Like Marin was going to take us out. And she was just like, yeah, no, this is well sketch. Like something is going on. So we don't know. But what did, happened? Did she leave with you? Yeah, no, she she left with us. I don't know, like, what the story with her is. I don't know where she would be. Okay, if she didn't go back into the castle then, because nobody's been coming out. No one's come out, and no one's gone back in. Like, there's no traffic going in and out, and they normally have, like, wagons going in with food and stuff, and they'd normally have, like, uh, envoys going in from other cities and stuff, and just all of that has just stopped. And nobody's seen the king. And nobody's seen the queen. And nobody's seen the prince. So, like, you've got to be, like, around guards pretty often, like, with security. Oh, stuff. yeah. Yeah, so, like, and I mean, there's usually, like, you know, a little bit of banter. Like, I mean, they're usually, like, very, they're just people. Yeah, like, like they're, do, do they're, they lads seem, and they're lads in armour, but they're still lads. Like, Do they seem normal? The anything? ones in the, the ones in the castle, like, at the gala. Yeah, yeah at the gala. Like, they were about, I want to say, 70% normal. And then the rest of the time, they were, like... No, like no, no lollygagging, no, 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 no messing around. Now, do you think he might have been like enchanted or anything? Oh no, God no. Just the ca- the castle would have picked up on that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, like, I mean, it's just the fact that you know oh, they're, that they're kind of still good. Going, isn't it? Yeah, you're right, Lanius. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, sorry, lip reading. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I speak five languages and one of them's lips. Um, <laughs> Fun. <laughs> That did sound sexier than I was <laughs> Girl, calm yourself. Um, Hello. Nothing. And so the the castle, you, you say would have picked up on an enchantment. Can you elaborate on what wards the castle might have? Like, say, theoretically speaking, if someone like, just, teleported uh, inside the walls. 
if the you're camp? not if you're not on their list, then they set would the know. alarms off. The alarms yeah. would go off. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The cool. place is alarmed to the tits. Oh, like, you cannot get in and out unless you're on the pre-approved castle list. That makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. I'm just gonna add yeah. in. You're just, you're like, just extra. adding some exclamation points <laughs> yeah, to my no, alarms yeah. note. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just to, um, yeah. yeah. This uh, secret route you took out um, was it a difficult route? No, it's like you just go through. They have like the servants' quarters set up, and there's a door from the servants' quarters that goes into the queen's like little garden area that and she has. And then there's a metal gate. And then there's a gate there that I know Morinth has a key to it. I don't know who else has a key to it, but mm-hmm. like it's one of the only other ways. It, like there's you can go through the sewers and all. But if you just walked anyway, in a so. door, would you set this alarm off? If you're not on the list, then yeah. The the key she used was. Is it a special key or a just normal looking key? I like I I don't know, but I would assume that there's something special about it because they mm. can't just have like normal keys getting in and out of the castle. Do you know? Yeah. It would have the to be key like isn't really the or something. Problem. I can definitely undo the lock. It's mm. just whether or not um, then and as soon as we walk through the gate, they're gonna mm. know we're there. Do you reckon the alarm would go off if someone went in through the sewers? Oh yeah. It must be a proximity thing. It's probably an enchantment around the walls. Yeah. Similar to, I can do something similar with, with silver string, but yeah. you know, not as powerful and it only lasts 10 hours, but okay. so it's obviously, if they were renewing it every 10 hours. Yeah, if it's intrinsically lin- linked to this list that she's mentioning, then we somehow do have to get our names on that list. But how to do that if no one's coming in or out? Well, or maybe setting off the, al- if everyone's enchanted anyway, maybe it doesn't matter if we set off the alarm. Or if you set off the alarm in the wrong place. Okay, well, Lania thinks it does matter if we set off the alarm. You, you, I, you want, you don't want to get killed. I, that's I, that's I, very that reasonable. Is, I, I would that's agree with um, No, yeah, I mean, I, I also, agree with yeah, that. no, that's, I don't want to get killed, but I'm saying, yeah. if everyone, if no one's coming in or out, right, then maybe no one's actually manning this alarm anymore. An alarm spell like that probably needs to be renewed like twice a day. Would but there be there are to, like, guards. The yeah. You definitely saw guards patrolling yeah. the walls of Castle Dark. Yeah, no, like, but inside the walls or just outside? Inside, inside the, the walls, walls. Yeah. on top of the walls, outside yeah. of the walls. The place is guarded to the teeth. Yeah. Well, what if we got someone who's um, already on the list to get our names on it? The, the jacks have... So the jack of, uh, the jack of clubs in charge of the guards, has he been seen since the party? Oh, yeah. He's always about swanning around in his chariot, like. Mm. How do you get on the list to be allowed through into the castle? You need to talk to... What's his name? Your man that deals with all the royal crap. The vizier. Oh, you need to talk to him or you need to talk to one of the royals. You need to talk... Except that nobody's seen the royals. Yeah. You need to talk to... You need to talk to King Elaine. You need to talk to Queen Silva. You need to talk to Prince Morn. Or you need to talk to Princess Morinth. Is it Morin or Morinth? Morinth. 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 Um, okay, but who, what's the Grand Vizier's name? What's the Vizier? The, vizier uh, the Grand Vizier is Oscar Le Fay. Oh, oh, Lefay. Okay. Oh, Lefay. You He's mentioned one of those. Yeah. something yeah. that maybe we, no, we, we shouldn't, shouldn't no. talk to Lefay's. I mean, you can talk to them. I just can't guarantee that they'll think you're worth talking back to. Okay. Ooh, they're, they're, they're one of those families. Like That mm. might be something that would maybe be better worth. Maybe we stood outside. Yes, maybe a slightly different uh, shade. Yeah. Yep, Nobody's seen him either, though. No oh. one's seen Oscar Le Fay. Like, the other Le Fays are still around. They're grand. They're like, here, where's staff? But nobody's seen Oscar Le Fay. Oh. Um. <clears throat> like, everyone who works in the castle is just... Gone. Gone. No one's seen them. I, so it sounds like a lot of the significant people of the city are gone. Are the royals, yeah. Like. Yeah. Are there any close relations to them or other prominent city members that are still about? Not anywhere in the city, no. So just the jacks, and people have seen the jacks, I think? People have seen the jacks about, yeah. Well, they seem the most important people after the royals themselves, mm. so... Like, Marinth is still kicking around. Like, I haven't seen her in about a week. She's outside, but, oh, okay. like... But... I don't know if she's going... Say again? Nope. You want to get the hat sorted? You I, mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you do, but... Downstairs. No. <laughs> right, write it down, write it down. Yeah, no, I, I go, yeah. And she's like, Da! 
da father, daddy. <laughs> and this like snooty looking old man in like the, the fanciest like velvet bathrobe you've seen just comes out and goes, what? I haven't had my tea yet. Where's, where's your man? Where's Morris? Morris, have you made the tea yet? And Morris is like, yes, sir. It's in the process of being made. I thought his name was Morris. I was Martin. That's a running joke. Of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The butler's name is Martin. <laughs> no, the butler's name is Martin. Oh, he's just, oh, he's he's just, Martin. He's just oh, okay. called Morris because yeah. they don't know what his rich name people. is. Oh, it's oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. It's a yeah. rich people joke. Yeah, okay, I got you. That's fair. Okay. Um, and Siobhan says to her dad, You know Lanny's? And her dad's like, Ah, oh, yeah, I know you. She's like, He's being cursed. He can't talk. Will you fix that for me? He's like, ah, yeah. Let me get what you want. And he goes back into his room and comes out with this really nice, like, glass flute sort of thing, Ooh. and just plays a jaunty little tune. And your voice returns to him. Master Lefay. No, Master. Oh, Frasier. get out of my house! Calling me a Lefay. <laughs> <laughs> you were raised better than that, Ludovic. <laughs> First thing out of your mouth. First thing out of your mouth. I know, right? Yeah. We all fucked that you up. Were raised, yeah. You Frasier. were raised better than that. Oh, oh Master Fraser, you know me. I was barely raised at all. Nevertheless, thank you so much for your assistance. Go on, we'll send you to Bill in the Wild. I'm only messing with you. And he goes back into the room with a tea that Martin has graciously served him and served the rest of you. Oh, Lovely. Yeah. Good tea. Mm -hmm. What was that last thank point? Thank you so much for your help. You're all right. I want to know what's going on as much as you do. I just don't want to go near that, bit. like that castle. It gives me the willies. If you see the princess around again, could you let us know? We're staying at the stag's head currently, so if you see her, could you? Well, just what send was us a was what I was trying to say is we should try and find her. Yeah, yes. I agree. yes. So if you see her before we do. Oh, that's what that was. Crown. Yeah. yeah. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was the bit where you mm. lost me. I thought you were talking about the hats again. Understandable. It was mm -hmm. a type of hat. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> I, I, like, I want to know with the, um, like, with the jacks. Are they kind of doing anything about this, or like, what's going on there? Because this is clearly really important. It's the royal family, so. Yeah, like I went to talk to them about it the first time it happened, and they were like, "Yeah, we're aware of it, and we're gonna look into it." Okay. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "All right, Grant, it'll be sorted then." But then your one Chelsea is swanning around the city being like, the Jacks are doing nothing. The Jacks are doing nothing. We need to go and do this ourselves. And I'm like, could you calm down, you daft bitch? Like, mm. It'll get sorted. She was very dramatic. Isn't she just? Oh, the state of her life. You should have seen her last night. Was she wearing them boots? You know she was she wearing was. the boots. I hate yeah. those boots. They're hideous. They make her thighs look so fat. <laughs> They're just a bad colour. They don't match your skin tone at all. They water out completely. Um, so sorry, what? <laughs> would, <laughs> would we be better off speaking to any of the jacks in particular? Maybe <clears throat> the jack of clubs in regards to security. Do you think he might be willing to talk? I mean, you could go and get an audience with him and tell him about it. But like, if you say anything to him, yeah. if you say anything to any of them yeah. about being involved with Chelsea Dovetail, they'll just push it off like they're sick yeah. of her. Yeah. They're sick of her shouting in the streets mm. like you are doing nothing. You rats are doing nothing. Yeah, we might not take that. Yeah, line, I guess. Yeah. We're just freelance investigators. I suppose doing so. Something for some oh, reason. Wait, hold on. I know. What? Lanius, what did you say you did for a living? Oh well, technically, I work for an acquisitions agency which collects uh, items of monetary value or money in certain cases when it cannot be previously repaid by those who borrowed it initially and oh you're a repo bloke okay mm, not so much repo Lounge bloke shark. as yeah your lounge shark. knee breaker lounge shark okay that yeah okay there it is okay yeah. well could we use that as a cover what you want mean? to threaten to break the knees no, of the head no, of the guard? No, no, you're telling me that we're look. We ask that would go over so well. No, no, you you misunderstand. I'm saying we use that we're looking for someone, not one of the jacks, as an excuse to talk to him, saying oh. that whoever owes you money was at also party. at the party. Ah, hmm. 
so that we're Possibly. not involved with Chelsea Dovetail. That we're just doing yeah. this. Oh, we're just professionally looking for something, and it doesn't maybe, maybe from Tristan. I have heard rumors, and these are completely unsubstantiated, that uh, Tristan did have a slight over fondness of horses and cards and well, cards without clothes. Oh. Oh. Okay. That sounds really cold. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Siobhan? Hi. This person who threw up at Tristan's table, did you know their name? No. No idea who else. Did you Someone know that he brought with him, like. Oh, did you know anyone else at his table's name? I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention, like, I was not looking in his direction. Is there anyone else at the gala that hasn't come back out that you remember them? It was, like, mostly like families from overseas and stuff like it was a real proper like international affair you know where everybody is brown nose and everybody like talk and trade deals on that so are, are, are they not getting any food to the, to the council no there's no food going in mm. do you think the international police would get involved the international guards yeah the international guardies that's the thing Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Interguard. <laughs> they don't yeah, exist. In, yeah. If if families from overseas haven't returned in about a month, like that's have, gonna look real. Anyone should have been sent to say mm. where are our people. Yeah, but they're not. Like, do we have any of any envoys that have come into the city? There's been plenty of people coming to the city looking to get into that castle. There's been no end of people trying to get in, and they all get the same response from the guards at the gates. There's no problem here. See, Take your my, business elsewhere. This is my problem about going to see the Jacks, is they're obviously in on it. Yeah, I, I, I agree with my mm. sister. I don't think there's much point in talking to the perpetrators about their crime, but... Yeah. And, I mean, I don't want to sound dramatic, but... Really? You know what? Just, just. Are they okay? They're always like this. They're okay. Okay. I've been on them for a day, a half a day at the new most. They're edge always of the like this. Oh, I had a cousin like that. I get it. Yeah. I've never seen two of them interacting together though. That's gas. I could watch this all day. Yeah. <laughs> what? What are you? What are you saying? What are you that saying? if. It's a conspiracy, then walking around asking questions, people are just going to lie to our faces about it. Seems like a bit of a waste of time. Should we not just bust in? There was one person who has motivation to help us, and that is Princess Wand. <coughs> if we, so can we find don't her, know where she is, though. Mm. But if we can find her, okay. we can get the key to the Queen's Garden. We, we can also get our names onto the list if she can move in the castle. I have an idea. Do you you know the princess pretty well. You said you've been friends for a long time? Yeah. She's you, like one of my best friends. Do you have any... A, Paintings or portraits? Sand and stones. Well, anything that she has, anything you know that she has, anything I could look at, or anything you could describe in detail to me that you know she will definitely have on her person. Like, I can just send her a text on the sand and stone and you just want to get in touch with her. That would also be way easier. That would be yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that. Those exist? Yeah. Magic. Does not have a sand and stone. Exist. Just it up. Well, I mean, when you live somewhere where everyone you know is like a five minute walk across a courtyard from you, not a lot of use for them. Te technically, I have I a can think of one use for it, but I don't know if they're allowed, they're allowed to do that in temple, so I won't say anything about it. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if Right, I'm gonna, I'll go make a quick call, see if I can find her. Oh, then. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. alright, like, I want to know. <laughs> What's going on? As just much as you want to know what's going on, I just don't want to go to the castle, you know? I don't. But, like, if something happened to me, the whole city would be an uproar, you know? I run half the shops in this city. It would be devastating. They're not all the same. Also, Peckham. I would have taken you for a Garmando guy. Oh, Garmando's a bit... I know he's a bit weird, but, like, he pays well. I, I, I'm in charge of his rent books. Like, he's grand. He's paying his rent and he's paying his people fairly. Well, sometimes it's not about the pay. Sometimes it's about the laxness with which your employer allows you to undertake certain methods. You just want to chop people's heads off, don't I you? I do. Don't I do? That's all right. That's okay. That's allowed. I know. Garmando I would blanch. Oof. I mean, you could become a bounty hunter of bad people. Criminals. You did that for a while, didn't you? Oh, for a little while. But all the travelling and running around and... 
I know I just said it's not about the money, but it's a little bit about the money. I mean, if you're on your gap year, you need to make money somehow, exactly. you know? Mommy and daddy can't fuck the Well, your mommy and daddy can't fuck the bill for everything. <laughs> Mine can. <laughs> not for you, though. No, I love you, but I don't love you that much. Oh, I know. <laughs> but yeah, I will. I'm going to go give your one a ring. Yeah. See if I can find her. Fantastic. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll be back in two minutes. Don't touch anything. Just, just, yeah. the tea. Just, just, the tea. Tea. just the tea. Just the tea. Just the tea. Just the tea. And Siobhan heads off into a back room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Martin is like standing in the corner and he's just like, oh, thank God. Thank you. And he just like what slumps forward. He's not being watched. Uh, he's just like, oh. <laughs> 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 uh, Bash walks over to Martin and pats him on the shoulder like, there, there. Dear, uh, cast dear, the, uh, that's not how you do this. No, uh, I, I cast no. the uh, spare <laughs> the dying on Martin. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. No, dear. Peace be with you. It has yeah. the same hand you hold the cup with. You are you? Oh my God! Time. Are you teaching her to pinky? Yeah, to... absolutely. Wait, the same, but I can't hold the cup properly then. Uh, just, just give it up. Just give it up. No, look, look. Let, let me borrow. Let me borrow your glass. Yeah. No, no. Please oh don't my that. God. Let me hold it. It's sure. You, you hold it like this. Yeah. And like this. Like this. I don't understand the purpose. Mm. It's meant to be fancy, but it's also when you put it a tea. It feels nice as well. Well, when you put a yeah. teacup down on a saucer, you, it cushions you putting the teacup down on the saucer. Really? So you don't make too loud a clink. Okay, but out of character, I thought it was just because the Hasbergs had a genetic fault. No, actually, no, no, it's no, actually no, the cushion. No. <laughs> Is that a myth? It could yeah. be both. I mean, I love that. No, they, they had the chin. That they no, yeah, they, 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 they did have a genetic fault. Oh, I always thought it was because the Hasbergs had some sort of genetic fault with their hands. No, no. All it, genetic <laughs> faults aside. <laughs> I mean, there were genetic faults. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Mm-hmm. Okay, continue. Yeah. Siobhan comes back out of the room that she disappeared into and says the daft bint isn't picking up don't tell her I said I, 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 oh don't tell her I called her daft oh, no, bint no, no, no. um, you're worried you're you're not worried. picking up right but I did a, a little quick location spell mm-hmm. yeah the queen's gardens stink of her okay she's probably hanging out there she's okay. like she's real like she likes to pretend that she's all woodsy and like mm. all into all that nature stuff she just likes feeding the birds ah. so. we do like being fed that's no, the <laughs> other birds, sweetie. No, not birds. That. You're not a cockroach. There's a difference. I know. There's a difference. <laughs> um, uh, can I still get an answer to that question about the things she might have on her? Because then we can narrow it down when we get to the gardens. I can like beep, 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 beep towards her, you know? I don't know what she'd be wearing at any one Would day. It's like, especially if she's not, I don't know if she's going in and out of the castle. I don't know what she has on her. So mm-hmm. There isn't like a ring she never takes off. Or, I don't know. Uh, okay. She's not the kind of person to be like sentimental about. She Objects wouldn't be wearing her crown in the park, I assume. Could no way. That would be pretty. She hates no, that thing. To, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. No, it has to be an object, nothing alive. Mm. Okay. Well, we're, we have narrowed it down to a good location, so mm. we can have a look. Like, there. if you go down to the park and if you get in touch with old Ram, he's probably just sitting in his house. Like, I don't know if there's much uh, gardening to be doing on a day like this. The rain will do the job for it. But if you go down and talk to the old Ram, he'll probably be able to tell you where she is. Like, he'd be mm. the. He'd, like, be the last person who would have seen her, more than likely, who would still be in the park, do you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, I guess we'll do that then. Now, here's a question. If someone is trying to get rid of the royal family, why not try and track Morinth sooner? If it was that, that, that easy for people like us to find. Mm. It's something worth thinking But about. also, if you were going to get rid of a royal family, this seems like a very... One complicated if you wanted to do it stealthily it's you would very obvious yeah it? yes. also it's still going on like it's like, like people still aren't coming in yes. when, my love so talk amongst yourselves about trying to yes yeah, so find the princess and why yeah. why wouldn't they have left why would they have left her yeah why would yeah. they have why yeah. would anyone leave even if she like why would they leave one member of the royal family wandering around yeah. Yes, it, yeah. It's too obvious, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's yeah. something is clearly everyone can tell something's going on. This isn't stealthy. No. No, so, it's not subtle at all. Yeah, it's not like it, they would come up with a believable if they were trying to control the kingdom, they would come up with a believable excuse like there was a disease or or a curse or something and there was some reason why people couldn't come in and out. Yeah, like it's all it's also obvious. Planius. Yeah. Yes. You didn't hear from me. Like hand on heart, swear to the Raven Queen. Mm-hmm. Didn't hear from me. Mhm. Marmoth has no claim to that throne. That's right. She's Galen's stepdaughter. Oh. She's only 
Oh. Silva's daughter. Oh. Okay. She's Morn's yeah. stepsister. Okay. No, she'd be Morn's half sister, actually. So mm. she's not a threat. So no. Well. Like it's it's all going to Morn. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. she's not a direct threat to rule, but it still doesn't explain why they'd leave her wandering around. I mean, why not make a clean cut of it? You know, why would you leave a, a half sister around to possibly yeah, avenge her family? Well, that she's is got, true. like a bad relationship in her family mm. or something. No, mm. she gets on ground. Like she thinks Morn is annoying, but like everybody thinks Morn is annoying. We're really I mean, assuming we yeah. know the motives behind the lockdown. Mm. Mm. I mean, this is true, but I mean, it, we're only guessing. The, the the most obvious reason to shut down a castle and not let anybody in and out is because you're trying to control an area because you want to get the royal family out of the way. Well, you'd want to be, like, public about that, though, wouldn't you? I mean, you'd want to, like, say, I'm controlling this now. Well, no, or, because if mm. you didn't want people to fight back against you, you'd make it seem like nothing had changed. Mm. Unless, mm. unless, getting rid of the princess would be obvious again, wouldn't it? Perhaps this mm. is a way of casting doubt over the situation or making it maybe seem it's like... Trying to make it look, maybe it's trying to make her look bad, like she was the one uh, responsible. Possibly? I mean, it is all very confusing, so that would be working. Yeah, Mm. that's true. We should start by talking to her. I agree. But before, um, could we take a minute, maybe with your 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 bathroom, to um, fix berries? Yeah, berries. Oh, your hair. Yeah, I'm kind of pulling berries out of like a mess mortar and pestle out of a component pouch and like. Sweetheart, do you want some actual hair dye? Because we've got a load of it in the back, like that could be faster yes is that why you've been right. smelling so nice yeah they, 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 they do then i kind of made it up nice. as a system myself and oh. siobhan they, they disappears really back into the back room no, no. and comes out with these yeah. two Personal. pots mm-hmm. and i was like i tried to match your colors as much as i could just from looking at them but you might need to do the whole head again just in case yeah let's just yep. do real take thing. your time like it's yep. grand and real the smell friends. will go away in like Three days, I think. I also oh, oh, just, we, just we, just we grew up in a temple full of corpses. It's fine. Yeah, it oh. could be worse. Okay. <laughs> cool. Lovely. Too Did you much see why I needed to get my voice back? Yeah. Just massive smell with berries. Yeah, berries. stick a few of the berries yeah. in as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we do that. Come back, like, brushing my... Also, like, Cal has, a, like me, has a lot of hair. <laughs> And so when it's all out of her braids, like down past her ass, she's like, oh no, this is going to take me forever. Hold sit on, down, sit down, yeah. sit down. Yeah, we got we'll, you, we got we'll you, we got you. We'll <laughs> oh my God, I'm like a princess. Birds are doing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sing a song. So I, I want to do her makeup, but you have a job to do. We do. We can bring her back. Yeah, you can come back. Come back for tea anytime. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be an angel as always. I just want to know what's going on. temples always this week? Yeah. Sometimes weirder. Yeah. I have to go back to the temple. My <laughs> head's really heavy until my hair dries, but let's go. Yeah. Yeah, Lanny's just there, kisses. Yeah. Darling. <laughs> Knock that over. That's yeah. great. Ooh, the whole moment. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, let's go. Yep. Yeah, off to the Queen's Garden. Lewis. Yeah, we'd be getting another one. Just want to take the Lewis. Ding, ding. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. The Lewis is taking you back up towards the steel spire. And hug a sharp right, Whoop. back over there, <laughs> and down past the University of Infinity towards the lush and peaceful area that is the Queen's Gardens. And I have a paragraph for this, I think. <laughs> I hope. I don't. Oh, <laughs> no. I do have Marins, don't worry though. Um, yeah. The Queen's Gardens are this expanse of... I, or, did, I already described it in the first episode. Well, we, Describe it yeah, again. Well, the, the Queen's Gardens is the thing we look through that... Um, oh, we did go there. We to no, in. that was Castle Jackhaven. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's different. The Queen has a garden in the castle, you but these are the Queen's Gardens. You tried, oh, okay. to feed, you tried to talk to the swans there. Yeah, yeah, you oh, do. Yeah. We did a bit of and they, they only speak rage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't speak rage. Lanius, so. so you should try and speak to the swans. Oh, I'll do my best. Are, th- are there any swan... Our yeah. Yeah. There there are there are. They're not be, here at the moment. They would be terrifying. Oh, oh goodness, if. <laughs> oh my god, I want to play a swan, Aracocra, barbarian. You, so bad. No. you chose a love yeah. bird. I you know. made this bed. No. I mean, not, not now. I'm no. playing this bird right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> on the way to the Queen's Gardens, excuse me, mm-hmm. you pass such fabulous establishments as the donut shop named I Will in Me Donut Hole. <laughs> 
and the burrito shop named Pabuteca and Blues. Oh. And you come. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it like. The diets of people in this town are. They're awful. Really bad. Mostly carbohydrates, yeah. yeah. I love it here. And carbs and sugar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Carbs rolled in sugar. You roll up outside the sleek stone archway that leads into the Queen's Gardens that has a little decorative pigeon just above the actual archway itself. Yeah. And. Unload the Lewis wagons and the Lewis's go. Pay, ding, pay ding, mm -hmm. yeah. ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 and they run away with their little carts behind them. And the one that had you in the cart is just like. <laughs> 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 He's just your Kenku forever. Yeah, yeah. You've bonded for life now. Um, do, do do if they're like the Lewis, do like occasionally like. Big burly guys occasionally run alongside them, like the security guys. Or... Can you pay sure your fare. Yeah. <laughs> Give your leave card there, love. Um, <laughs> the hustle and bustle of the outsides of Jack Haven is muted considerably once you step into the safety of the Queen's Gardens. There are stone pathways that snake around the greenery. There's plenty of bushes and hedgerows to hide in. There mm -hmm. are weeping willows sort of trailing around in the ponds and there are these big majestic oak trees and off in the corner hidden by the foliage there is this quaint little hut where you assume the groundskeeper works and in the very middle of the park there are these elaborate patterned flower beds and in the middle of those flower beds there is a huge and i mean huge oak tree mm. that's been growing there for hundreds of thousands of years. Wow. It's the oldest oak tree in the known universe. And it is called Her Majesty. You read that on the plaque. That's what <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely. Um, so I guess we look around a little and like there's anybody who has like princess written on a name tag, I assume. <laughs> well, um, we were told to ask for the old ram who might have seen her. So. There the is the there is a little yeah. human girl dressed in a, like a princess kind of costume dress and she's running around going, look, mommy, I'm a princess. Uh, is that her? Uh, no. 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 Okay. No. It's very good, misleading. Really though. good guess though. Yeah, no. That was I mean, all the yeah. evidence yeah. was pointed right That was my second choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, groundskeeper, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go to the groundskeeper's hut. You head over to the groundskeeper's hut and the door into his hut is this quaint little red wood thing and mm. the roof is made of thatch and it's like all that, you know, like wattle and daub kind of yeah. fancy old Irish <laughs> house construction. You knock sharply on the door and it swings open and he goes, what do you want? And you are greeted by this short like i mean like about three foot tall short stout satyr and his horns go boop, boop, boop. Whoa. <laughs> and he's got this shock of white bristly hair like you could turn him up if not for the horns yeah. you could turn him upside down and use him <laughs> as a toilet brush <laughs> <laughs> and he's dressed in not so much Wellington boots as Wellington trousers mm. that come up to about mm. here. Like waders. Like, like fishermen's yeah, like, really. like fishermen's waders, but made completely out of bright yellow rubber that fit him like a glove. Like he's wearing a marigold glove yeah. with only two fingers <laughs> <laughs> and a tiny hole in the back for his little tail. Oh. <laughs> and just like suspenders keeping them up and nothing else. He's just got this shock of white hair on his chest. Yeah, I like him. And he's like, what do you want? Is there trouble in the park? We're just wondering if you've seen Princess Morinth around the park lately. Yeah, she's around. Is she around today? today? I haven't seen her today, but I imagine she's around. She's been hanging out here for about a month now. Where does she usually go? Like, where she's she usually go? around the big tree. She's usually with Her Majesty. Oh, okay. Very fitting, isn't it? Yeah, 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 that is. Yeah, for sure. Symbolic. Cool. You um, aren't looking to do anything bad. No, no, we too. have a really Because I'd have to kill you. Oh, no, 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 we have to ask her a really important That's question. Okay. Yeah. All right. We just want to say hi. Because I'd have to kill you yeah. if she doesn't. Oh, absolutely. No. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No, no, no. no, no but no we, respect your, we respect your commitment. 
if you, death is a natural part of life if you do see her in the next ah. few days could you ask her to contact her friend Siobhan Fraser? can indeed she's been looking for that her be yeah. mm-hmm. cool. you're a gentleman thank you yes. thank you very much I know <laughs> I, I guess we should go to her majesty uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. we can do fun. a circuit around and just see if she's there yeah mm-hmm. let's do that okay so we go to the tree yeah we go have a good old Pokemon go walk around the <laughs> it's a Cubone nest at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All the Swablies are gone. All the Swablies are oh, gone. No. All the Onyxes are gone, more oh, importantly. Okay. That's my <laughs> <case>. <laughs> Why do you like anyway. <laughs> you don't know terror in Pokemon Go until five Onyxes spawn in at once. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you guys head back to the middle of the park yep. and mm-hmm. start to do laps around the tree. Keeping an eye out for anyone who looks like a princess. Lanius. You know what the princess looks like. Mm-hmm. You know that the girl in question is a short, about mm, four foot tall, very pretty Robin Aricocker, who normally dresses in combat jerseys. <laughs> um, I, if we are looking for an Aricocker around the tree, perhaps running around the bottom of it might not. Yeah. Oh, we'll do we we'll look we'll up? Take a, yeah. We can fly. Yeah, we can, we can do a bit of a fly. Yeah, yeah. we can fly up. Yeah. You fly. Around. The two of you fly upwards to check in the higher reaches of the tree. Mm-hmm. The rest of you look up just as the skies begin to darken. Not because it's getting dark. Not because of any time-based thing. But because the sky is slowly filling with a massive flock of pigeons. Get down! What? You two, get down, oh. now! Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, gonna land. Well, yeah, we'll swoop down. And it's not physically possible for pigeons to look angry. Shit. But if you drew, if you, but like, if you drew, like, angry sharpie eyebrows, eyebrows on, on a pigeon's eyes, that would be the look on all 4,701 of these <laughs> pigeons. And what you guys see in the branches... Yeah, 4,701? Yeah. 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 Um, what you guys see in the branches of this tree before you are forced to land by Lanius's panic shout oh. is an angry Robin Aarakocra brandishing a quarterstaff at you. Um. And that's where we're going to end this episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does not want to be found. <laughs> That's fair. Join oh, us yeah. next time when the party gets the shit kicked out of them by pigeons. Yay! Yay. Ghost <laughs> Cats, no! Betrayal! <laughs> <laughs>